In this video, I am going to show you how to check if your document is set to CMYK or RGB in Adobe Illustrator. This is a really important step, especially if you are working on designs for print. So let's get started. Welcome back to Easy Guide YouTube channel. Before we jump into Adobe Illustrator, let's understand why this matters. CMYK stands for cyan, magenta, yellow and key means black and it's mainly used for printing purpose. If you are designing flyers, brochures or business cards, you should always work in CMYK mode. RGB on the other hand stand for red, green and blue. This is the digital color mode perfect for web graphics, social media posts and anything that stays on screen. If you design in the wrong mood, your colors may look completely different once you export or print your work. That's why checking and switching moods is so important. Now let's move into Adobe Illustrator and see how to check your file's color mood. Open your document in Adobe Illustrator. Now go to the file menu at the top left. Select document color mood. Here you will see two options, CMYK color and RGB color. The check mark will tell you which one is currently active. And that's it. You have now identified whether your file is CMYK or RGB. Now if you want to change the color mood, simply go back to the file menu, document color mood and choose the mood you need. Keep in mind that switching between moods may cause slight changes in how your colors appear. Always double check your design after switching. And here is a pro tip. If you are not sure about the mood of a particular color or object, you can also check it in the color panel. Go to the window menu and choose color. Depending on your document mode, the slider will either show CMYK values or RGB values. This is a quick way to confirm the mood while working. So that's how you check whether your Illustrator file is in CMYK or RGB mode. Always make sure you are in the right mood before starting a project. It saves you from unexpected surprises later. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Easy Guide and hit the bell icon for more Illustrator and Photoshop tips and tricks.